consider the confession of faith made by St. Peter and recorded by St. John on the day of our Lord's Bread of Life discourse, when he taught his disciples that he himself was the bread of life, that his flesh was true food, his blood was true drink. And so many of them, shocked, scandalized, and confused, abandoned him. And Peter said, Lord, to whom else shall we go? You have the words of everlasting life. We have come to know and believe that you are the Holy One of God. And yet how little he understood what our Lord was saying that day. How might he have thought back on those words and understood them more deeply on the day of the Last Supper? How might he have understood them more deeply as he began to obey the command of our Lord when he said, do this in remembrance of me to celebrate the Holy Eucharist? How little we understand the endless mystery that is the Holy Eucharist. And yet how much we are invited to bring our profession of faith before this profound mystery in which he so humbles himself that he feeds the deepest desires of our hearts by feeding us with himself. And so we pray this prayer for spiritual communion. I believe that you, O Lord, are in the most holy sacrament. I love you and desire you. Come into my heart, I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love, O Jesus, absorb my being and make me holy. Amen.